Hey guys, so today, it's not really necessarily a hair video, but this is something that I really want to share with you guys because I feel like this is also important, you know, aside from talking about hair and all that. This topic is very close to my heart, so I just want to share it with you all. And that is how I overcame my body insecurities and also my journey to accepting my body. But basically, this video is just about dealing with Okay, just to tell you guys a little bit of a background, I used to hate my body before. I have a very poor self-image. I didn't really like myself just in general, especially my whole body. That's why I suffered from an eating disorder. I had anorexia. I had, oh, I suffered from body dysmorphia. All of those things kind of led to me being depressed to the point of having suicidal thoughts because of it. But thank God my mind is renewed now. Okay, so here are some things that I did that helped me be confident in who I am and who God made me to be. So the number one here on my list, I actually made a list for myself just as a reminder is to stop comparing yourself to other girls, especially girls on Instagram, on Facebook, on the movies or even models because that's not who God made me to be. I wasn't designed or crafted that way. I feel like our difference makes us who we are. If we all look the same, if we're all built the same and there's no variety, probably this world would look so boring. I've also learned to really accept my difference and to just own my difference because I realized that this is the body that God I can either just do two things. I can either hate it or just make the best out of it. The only option for me is to actually really accept my body for what it is. And I know it's kind of easier said than done because these days that, you know, we are constantly being bombarded by like the media, commercials on TV, that you should look like a certain way, you should look like this because this is what's accepted, this is what um, people like, you know, this is the kind of body that gets you more likes. <laughs> Whatever that means because you know how these days like likes are super important like, people put value um, On their likes and all that so that thing kind of pressures you to look a certain way We have this um, one standard of beauty that if you do not look like that certain way or your body is not like that It's almost like you're not beautiful or you're not enough just as you are because you don't look like that Instagram model or you don't look like that person that has like an hourglass shape with a big butt and big boobs and you know super skinny legs and all that which sometimes it's not really realistic not unless if you're really genetically born that way then wow but however the rest of us <laughs> are not born that way so for me i'm just gonna accept and I'm gonna make the best out of what God has given me and I'm gonna stop comparing myself to other girls. Don't get me wrong, I do follow fitness people, I do follow like Instagram girls, but however, I don't really compare myself to them. I follow them specifically because I am inspired, you know, I get ideas on how to dress and also to be fit or, you know, it just encourages me and motivates me to actually get my butt in the gym. But however, I don't compare myself to them just because first First of all, we all have different builds. So number two, this is very important. You know when I discovered who I am in the Lord and when I found my identity in Christ, all of a sudden the opinions of other people didn't really matter. Because let me tell you, living in my country, I'm from the Philippines, here weight is such an issue. If you gain weight, people mention. If you lose weight, people will always mention. And you know, fat jokes here and um, fat shaming is considered to be very normal. That's why it has affected my childhood. That's why I had anorexia because of that, you know. Um, even till to this day, actually, people would tell me like, oh, why did you gain weight? You, you're fat. I personally don't think I'm fat, but you know, according to some people in the standards of my country, I am. And you know, before those comments would really bother me, that as soon someone would tell me that I gained weight and all that, or would question me why, you know, I look puffy or I look chubby and all that, I would automatically go on a starving mode. I would starve myself because I wanted to lose weight. I wouldn't really feel good about myself or I wouldn't really feel happy till I lose the weight. You know, these people make you feel like you're not good enough. And you know what, I feel like before I'm so in bondage and I felt like I was in an invisible prison of other people's opinion of me, especially on my weight and how I look. And you know, when you live that kind of lifestyle of just pleasing other people or 
always caring about what other people think about your appearance, especially your weight, it's very, very stressful. Until one day I was like, you know what, I need to break the cycle of me trying to always please people or to look a certain way or to be in a certain weight because this is what people want or this is what society wants me to look like. This is what's acceptable on Facebook or on social media. There's just freedom when you know who you are in the Lord because now I found this confidence and the security that, you know what, I'm good enough, you know, I'm okay. I am definitely not perfect. And I don't necessarily have to look a certain way in order to be accepted. So I was like, you know what? If I don't fit society's um, standards, then oh well. And number three, I started being kind to myself and to my body. Now, I used to be very, very lethal with myself because, you know, when I look in the mirror, I can only see all of my imperfections. Lately, I have been speaking life over myself, you know, and um, I've really learned to just love my body for what it is. Not in a narcissistic way at all because, you know, coming from a person who has hated her body for a long time, I was like, you know what? Hating my body didn't really result to anything good. Also, I might as well speak good things to my body, speak life to my body. So yep, those are the things that I did. This is definitely a journey. And I had to remind myself that, you know what? God made me like this. I'm gonna make the best of what God has given me. You know, we're stewards of our body. And we are actually responsible for what has been given to us. You know, definitely I have some fitness goals that you know, I wanted to do and I wanted to achieve, but I am in a good relationship with my body right now. And if I'm ever gonna work out and, you know, eat right, it's because I want to be a good steward to my body. And it's not because of vanity, of because, you know, I wanted to look a certain way. I, looking good is just a reward for taking care of your body. But it shouldn't be like the priority or the main goal or the motivation. Well, for me, it's not really the motivation for me to work out and eat right. I really just want to be healthy just in general. So, you know, that's the thing. I feel like it's all about changing your perspective. So that is it, you guys. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will see you on my next video. Bye!